We have a thoroughbred here, multiple things going on. As you can see, that's a Hanton that's been glued on. Uh, he's got a pad with dental impression. You look at the side wall, you can see the orange stuff. That's dental impression, which means those quarters are rotted, which also means that the heels are probably rolled under. And now you can see they went with a 3D pad. That's just to create frog pressure, so that unloads the heel or at least shares the load. And when you, you look at this foot, especially from the side, you can see how the walls just buckled over right at the, the end of the heel and the quarters are bulged out. This side also rotted out in the quarter. So it's, uh, you know, a lot of pressure in them heels. And uh, so it's also has a quarter crack. Now he's laced, painted with Thrush Buster and going to the track in this setup. I just want to see if there's any blood, which there wasn't. And no, he doesn't palpate sore up at the hairline. So now we're going to go after the real issue. Um, here's the pad pulled off. You can see the dental impression. See how the pad's humped up and there's sand underneath it? That means there's definitely no pressure on that, that part of the shoe, which means all the pressure goes back to the heel area, back by where the rivet is. And uh, you can just see kind of the wear patterns on the, on the pad. Um, Look, this is what you got to do for these kind of horses. Now, obviously, there is a ton of frog pressure. And at some point, they have problems with the frog. You beat up the frog too much, this horse is very flat-soled. You can see how it's just like a platform they left there to set that pad on back in the heel area. Now, here I've cleaned the foot up. Uh, wall up in the toes, average, I guess, back through the quarters, totally gone and back in the heels, very thin. So I just clean everything out and, you know, I set my shoe to where I'm going to put it. Now I've taken the crack, cleaned everything out, relaced it, and what you're looking for is just to stop any movement. Now I'll just add some fiberglass and glue as I glue this shoe on. Here's the foot before, you can see how the tubules totally collapsed back from the heel, they're just flat with the ground. And here we are glued on. Just a nice full shoe all the way back. Lots of, uh, lots of exposure of the frog to the ground and that's what we want. They look in the very back of the heel of the shoe, we taper these things so they uh, relieve concussion. The black on the inside of that shoe, that's butyl tape, it humps up. So when you push the foot down with the glue on it, the glue either squeezes onto the pad or onto the sole, which you scrape away. So there's zero sole pressure. And the next thing is uh, the black part of the pad is extremely soft and it's made to allow that foot to move anywhere it wants to. That's what makes those things work. Here you are before and after. Just more support in the heel, a little shorter toe, better angles. This horse actually went on and won a couple of races. So anyway, if you like this, get a hold of Red and Blacks at redandblacks.com or just get a hold of Irene. And thanks for watching.